Not your average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Nacho Average Tabletop. I'm Zach. And I'm Pepper. Today we're giving our first impressions of Dice Hospital, which is another game from Stan Kardowski, who we all of a sudden have a bunch of his games in our collection. Uh, I don't know what this man does, because I'm pretty sure he's also a nurse, I think, full-time nurse, or at least he was. Uh, I don't know when he finds all this time to design I, games. I didn't know that, so, I mean, now this makes so much more sense. It does. I think thematically this is the closest <laughs> one to what he actually does versus some of his other designs. That Rorik dog Unless he, of he might... I feel like he does live in the Midwest, so yeah. he might live in an endless winter. He, he yeah. might. I think he... I don't remember exactly. I could be totally wrong. Rock up. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, been, he's spent some time behind bars, so... <laughs> Maybe. I have no idea. I have this wild story <laughs> of his life in my head. Um, but yeah, so Dice Hospital, I, I feel like that was one that I've just, I've always been interested in, even before I knew it was yeah. him. I And I probably, no, if, if I had played his other games and then played this one and not know who this was, I don't think I would have known it was him. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think so. I don't know if his really have a lot of things It would be very hard, I think, to guess that a game was his. Yeah, they are all so distinct. Um, gosh, yeah, I wouldn't even. This I would. I would choose probably like guess ten other games at least. Yeah, I would guess this to share a designer with. Yeah, I would think that if I was guessing and I knew it was someone in our collection, I would probably guess actually Shem on this one. Oh yeah, I, I can think see it's who that. I would I guess did that. this that game. That works. I th that's probably who I would guess. Um, yeah, so works. maybe if you like Shem Phillips designs. You might be interested in this one if you haven't tried it before. Um, but yeah, so this one is a kind of dice drafting and then uh, worker placement or action activation yeah. yep. um, game where you're trying to cure the dice. So you're bringing in uh, the ones that you draft sort of are yeah. um, brought in and they're in need of healing. Yes. And yeah, you're basically trying to get them up to seven. So yep. um, as you're... Um, Helping them out, however you're doing uh, surgery on them yeah. or whatever you want to think. Yeah. I don't know if when you're doing it, it feels that thematic, but yeah. uh, <laughs> you're increasing the pips on the dice. So uh, if you he did some action, it might allow you to move it up one spot. So you move it from a four to a five yeah. of a certain color, or you might have something that allows you to, um, if you move one green one up one, you can move another green one because yeah. yeah. um, there's three different colors of dice in this one I uh, think. red I think yellow so, yep. green red yellow green yep um so yeah so then you could move yeah one from a six up to a seven which would heal it and yep. then you'd put it into kind of another location on your board and you could yeah, do a different one or whatever yep. um so yeah you're just trying to increase them up to above the, the six yeah. yep. is yep. what you're trying to do and yeah you're just taking different actions that are like that where yeah, either do a specific number up to a certain amount or a specific color, and then you're getting like these uh, specialists that um, yeah, we'll yeah work you, on certain dice yeah, numbers or colors and, or yeah um, yeah just bonus things to get bump it additional just, spots. Yeah. That's or, pretty much all it is is bumping additional yes. spots um, towards healing them and sending them home. Right. Um, so it's it's very abstract. This mm -hmm. I it would be bold if they just. Released it with absolutely no theme. They could. <laughs> they could. But that would be interesting. Just dice bumper. Or dice something. bumper. <laughs> they could call it that. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I, I like the theme and I like the artwork of it. But like you said, it, it doesn't really feel like that. It's a little fun, kind of when, I mean, it's kind of dark. But when you neglect the patients and they, so if you don't treat a die in a round. Um, mm. So when you treat them at least once, they kind of go down to a treated section. Um, even if they're not cured completely, they will not, um, they, they're being treated. So the other ones that you don't, they're neglected and they kind of lower their pips. And if they go below one, then uh, you take a little uh, toe tag token uh, for <laughs> your casualty um, which I don't believe any of us had to take. We did not have any in our no, own game. No, no. Um, we had some special abilities that helped keep them just yep. hanging on. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, that it. So there's some fun to be had, kind of fun, mm -hmm. just thinking about the crazy, like what you're even doing here. Right. Um, but yeah, not much theme. But I, I felt it was, it was clever. 
Um, I enjoyed. It's very simple, very approachable, which it is. Um, probably the first game we played of his is the most complicated. I, although we played Lockup first, but Rurik was kind of yeah. when I actually knew who the designer was. Rurik was a big game, and um, every game that we tried since then, I'm like, oh no, here's gonna be a big game, but. They've actually been pretty approachable. Yeah. Um, even Endless Winter is not that hard to get into. And, right. Um, this one as well. Like you said, it feels, it does feel like a Shem Phillips game. It feels familiar. It does. Yeah, it definitely does. And, like, yeah, symbology and stuff, once you kind of know what they mean, it's like, oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty obvious. And yeah. you're always gaining either new kind of rooms where you can treat the patients yeah. or do specific actions to you know special especially bump things and stuff additional times um or you can get the specialists like i said which actually give you another worker to actually place out as yeah. well um and if you yeah fulfill whatever they like to do you get an additional bonus there but you don't have to use them for that so i do like that they're yep. still available for you to use if even if you can't meet their requirement on their card you can still yep. use them as just a normal um, doctor as well um I would say that I, I like this one quite a bit. Um, after a one play, I would say that this one's probably at maybe an eight for me. I, I like the efficiency type puzzles, and I like how some of those are um, just really cool where you could bump three dice potentially, but you have to... So yeah. the patients all have to be like, like, for instance, all of them have to be all the same number, and then you'll heal all three of them one yeah. spot. That's really cool to me. You're trying to get them yeah. finagled in your hospital there to be able to do that. So you could treat the same patient multiple times in a round. Yeah. So yeah, maybe you already had like two green fives, and then uh, you have a green four. <laughs> you might be able to heal that green four once yeah. to get it up to a five, and now you can take that action to yeah. heal all of them to sixes or whatever. Uh, that yeah. just feels really satisfying. Yeah. Um, and I trying to decide how much i like the so oh, the yeah. big thing in the game to think of is initially you're like oh I'll just try to heal as many as i can get them out of the hospital yep. keep them moving on but the way the scoring works in here ideally if you could get a ton of people healed all on the same round that's the way to maximize your points versus yeah. just doing one here and then two and then one and then two. Yeah. Uh, so that is an interesting piece as well to try to manage them to have a big turn where you clear out a ton of them all at once. Yeah. So yeah. I, it is an interesting kind of catch there. Yeah, because as well, because you're taking in three dice every round every from round. the draft. Um, so if you take if you don't have room for them, that's going to be casualties. Yes. And that's going to be negative points at the end of the game. So you're managing you, both those things. You really don't want that, but you also want to save up to make those big rounds. And mm -hmm. I think we kind of both did the same thing. We had about we the same. Kind of amount. built up. I think they were in different rounds, though. But kind of built up, had a big round, built up, had another big round. Mm -hmm. um, which I like that. I think it's satisfying whenever you mm -hmm. can. Um, I mean, we didn't go just crazy. We didn't get like twelve healed in a round, which yeah, that there is be, the option. But I don't be know. Amazing if you could pull that off. I feel like you almost have to. I don't remember. Is the neglect previous patients already in the hospital, or um, can you choose the one that are coming in? Uh, if you could choose the ones I'm coming sure. in, I, I guess I don't remember that exact rule. But if you yeah, could choose those ones, you could try. You could forego kill three. I don't even remember how many negative points that is, but to try to get all twelve yeah. at the same time. But even then, I don't know. Yeah, twelve I think would be hard. Let us know in the comments below if you yeah. if you played this one. Have you ever gotten all twelve off yeah. at once? Because yeah. that seems like it would be a pretty pro move. And I, I feel like that should just be an insta win. Yeah, if you can get twelve, because would... yeah. I felt good when I got like seven or yeah. eight. That felt really, yeah, I think really that was good. About the highest that either of us got. Um, and yeah, just the the numbers that you're getting, it's going to be kind of randomly rolled and set oh, up yeah. to the ambulances. Can't be ones or sixes. Can't be ones or sixes. You re-roll those because they're just too close to. Uh, like, why are you even healed. here? You're barely even sick. Right. Um, and there's no hope for you, so go away. <laughs> <laughs> um, we don't want to be responsible. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you put those in ambulances, and um, you want the higher ones because they're going to be easier to cure. Um, so then the ambulance you take, it's ordered. The lower ones will then have first pick at those rooms that you'll be drafting and the specialist. Mm -hmm. um, so the harder to heal 
dice are then going to give you first choice at those um, additional things, which I don't think that's worth it. Because if there's like a one and two twos, or oh, it wouldn't just, be a one, but oh yeah, uh, twos and threes versus fours and fives, like you have to go the fours and fives. It's I just can't imagine having that. Because I had one mm-hmm. really low one, and he, I was just like, "There's no hope for you. I'm just gonna keep you from dying." But that's all I'm gonna do. Because like you just want to be so efficient and get a mm-hmm. bunch out at the same time. You just can't spend the time. To get to those ones all the way up there, unless you do have there's um, like some one really that goes good up ones. Three. Yeah, up Bumps three. three times. Um, which I had that for my reds, but I think that one was a yellow, and I just mm-hmm. wasn't able to really have the time to do that. Yeah. So, and I think there was a doctor. I don't know if it came out early enough in the game, but there was one like if you heal, I think uh, I don't know if it was a specific number, then you could heal one that was either at one, two, or three. Oh, yeah. So, well, if you had good. that doctor, yeah, that then as the bonus piece, you could get those ones yeah. up without actually doing anything additional. Yeah, and in that true. case, then it's a little easier, but yeah. still, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. tough. If you get one with, like, all twos, three twos, yeah. that's going to be tough to get those up. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, so I'm probably, I'm coming in at an eight, maybe, about, as well. Maybe, okay. maybe a little higher, but... Um, yeah, I really like the flow of the game. Kind of right away, you want more workers because mm-hmm. you don't have very many, and you want to do all those actions. Then you have so many workers, and it's like you I need more many. actions to get. Um, yeah, that's another puzzle. Yeah, and in two-player, kind of for the draft of either new specialists or new rooms to go to. I think just in the two-player, um, you have two of one and one of the other, and um, first player or whatever, or maybe not first player, gets to choose which has two and which has one. So if they're like, okay, we're both going for rooms here, I'm going to maybe only have one room or maybe have two room because I think then you draft the dice and then that decides. Yep. So um, it's a nice, interesting thought while not mm-hmm. being too thinky of what right. you're putting out there. Right. So, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed this one a lot. Yeah, it was a lot of good fun. It's definitely one of those, if you're looking for kind of a next step next level game i think it's right at that level he could probably even do it as kind of one of the games to introduce someone to the hobby i think it might be just a little bit more to it than that but it's not too far too much heavier than that yeah i would say so yeah it's a good one definitely definitely check it out like i said if you like shem phillips game garfield games i think this one would be on the lighter side of those i wouldn't say it's like some of his more recent heavy ones but um it just has kind of that feel to it. So. Yeah, yeah, I think that is a great comparison. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, if you want to see uh, kind of some of the components and stuff, we'll have an unboxing video as well, so go check that one out. And uh, we hope to see you on that video. And as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content.